Welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be customizing the Ocelot Swinger. So I already went ahead and bought the vehicle but I have not customized it at all yet. This car was part of the nightclub DLC update which Rockstar released last week. I don't know when last week but I know it's sometime during that time range. And honestly I haven't played any of the nightclub yet. I only bought a nightclub. That's all I did. Because I felt like all it was going to be was collect goods, sell them, collect, sell, and just rinse and repeat. You know, that kind of thing. And I just, it wasn't going to be interesting to me at all. But go ahead and let me know if it's something different. Because if so, I'll, I'll, I'll play it then. But as you can see here, it is $909,000. And of course, the stats is about the same. There's not really any difference. Or if it was, it was just maybe an inch or so. And one thing that I thought was cool was that they actually have the engine on the back with a protection of glass, I believe. And one thing that Rockstar likes to do is they like to have their cars based off a real life car. So this car in general is based off of the Jaguar XJ13, which I've never heard of the car, but I'm familiar with the car brand. And yeah I do like a lot of the Jaguar vehicles but anyway what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to go ahead and take this thing to the Los Santos Customs and see what they alright so I've just arrived at Los Santos Customs and one thing I want to go ahead and show you real quick is actually the interior of it you see that mirror over there I don't know how it is um, at different places but I've always had the mirror at the top of a window I've never had it on my dashboard before but it could be different somewhere else I've just never seen it at a dashboard before and then there's a lot of controls in that vehicle but let's go ahead and see what this thing can do um alright so let's go ahead and do the general customizations such as the armor and the engine and of course I'm gonna go ahead and mess up and I'm gonna end up wasting more money than I need to but something cool is they're actually letting me customize the engine of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with the primary triple filter just because it looks better in my opinion. Next up here we have the engine tunes which of course we're going to go ahead and max this thing out. That way we can get the best of this vehicle that we can. Now we got the valve covers which I'm going... Let's go ahead and do the secondary valve covers that way we can go ahead and get this whole engine painted and in my opinion it just looks the best next up we have the exhaust which I can't really tell which one because of the smoke and how small it is um I'm not sure here let's yeah let's just go ahead and do that and now we got the grill let's see now we, we got carbon and chrome and then we got a little line horizontal line let's just yeah, yeah let's, let's do a carbon horizontal line. I don't know. I don't really mess with explosives and stuff. But now we got the hood. Is that what that is? Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and go with the hood. What is that? What the heck is that? That is like some, some I don't know what that is. It's like locks and all that. I, th I think I'm like, I like the stock hood. That just looks like a smiley face right there. Uh, I'm going to stick with the stock hood for this one. It just looks cooler to me. Now, let's see if we can paint this thing any better. I always like doing the matte colors. So, I just do like a matte orange. We could, I would love to do a lime green, but can on this one. Can't, can't, it's locked out for me. Do a matte orange. And let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and get like a maybe a black interior that didn't really do much except for change the engine now. And now we're doing the interior color, which is only the steering wheel cover and like the roll cage inside of it. I'm just thinking about just doing orange. Yeah, I'm just gonna maybe orange. No. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do orange for this one. That does not look the same color at all. 
Does it really matter? Yeah. Whatever, we'll stick with that one. Alright, now let's see. We got suspension. If I can get to it. There we go. It's going to get that sport suspension. The best one there is. Brace transmission. And I don't really do turbo. Just because I feel like it's extra cost. I'm not really going to be doing any races with this vehicle. And now we have a... What is that? Like, oh, it's a trunk. Of course. What? Really? I'm going to go ahead and do like the most expensive one and now we got a windows which of course I'm always done a limo on all my vehicles and that should be it yeah that is it so let's go ahead and test drive this thing to see what this thing potentially has of course it's night time we should have our headlights on there we go and let's see how this thing goes just drive in so this thing it sounds pretty nice I think it has a pretty nice sound to it and this thing goes pretty fast and okay well I just spun out and went straight through a bush okay <laughs> so this thing has some speed to it alright so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here I hope that this video helped you out and I hope that this video helps you decide on like a vehicle you wanted. Like if you were wanting this vehicle and you just didn't know if it was worth the buy or not. Honestly, I think it's worth the buy. Go ahead, subscribe and like and share to all your friends and family. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later.